Welcome back. We're getting a closer look at the deadly combination of alcohol and the COVID pandemic. The CDC reporting the rate of deaths really directly attributed to alcohol rose at nearly 30% in 2020. In previous years, that number has been rising by 7% or less each year. Examples of alcohol related deaths include liver or pancreas failure, alcohol poisoning and other related deaths. Such deaths are two and a half times more common for men. But you know what? The rate jumped 42 percent among women, specifically women ages 35 to 44 as the pandemic started. The CDC says alcohol is often overlooked, but it's a leading preventable cause of death. So when it comes to the Powerball jackpot, here we go again. We are looking at a drawing tonight that's actually inching toward $2 billion. So if you want to take a shot, you do need to buy a ticket before 9.45 p.m. on Saturday night. No one has matched all six numbers since August 3rd, but more than $81 million prizes have been given out during this stretch of time. Seven of them we're right here in Michigan. Today, the jackpot jumped to $1.6 billion. It could go even higher, but we just got the 4 p.m. update, and it has not changed since just before noon. The next drawing, by the way, is tomorrow night, and you can see the winning numbers on Local 4 News at 11. Pop star and fashion icon Rihanna is facing a backlash right now on social media over a decision to work with Johnny Depp. You might remember the actor has come under criticism for his relationship and legal battles with his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Johnny Depp will now make a cameo in Rihanna's latest Savage X Fenty fashion show, which is on Amazon Prime Video. Some fans say they're outraged using the hashtag Ditch Depp. Some are even threatening to boycott the show. So far, though, no comment from Rihanna, Depp, or Amazon. NBC kicking off a new comedy block tonight, and Local 4 is taking a trip back in time. Pop some popcorn for a fun night of television. Comedian George Lopez returns to network TV with a new sitcom. He is teaming up with real-life daughter Mayan to create a show that exaggerates their real-life relationship. On the sitcom, George's character is forced to move in with his daughter's family, and old conflicts lead to laughs for the rest of us. That show is called Lopez versus Lopez. The comedy kicks off primetime tonight at 8, followed by the premiere of Young Rock with Dwayne Johnson. And then at 9, join us to celebrate this TV station's 75th anniversary with a special called Going For It, the inside story of the rise of WDIV. It's a special look back at 75 years of big stories, local TV shows, and of course, your favorite news anchors. It's also going to be streaming on Local 4 Plus.